guys, the Epic Cubert Andrew over here, and you know what? Editing videos is a really hard task, and you know what? It's even harder when your editor just keeps on crashing. This is literally what I deal with every time I edit head films, okay? Crashing. This has happened three times in a row. Crashing. And what I did was just this. On you. Stupid crab meme. Okay, anyways, let's get back onto the whole point of this video. A little different delivery, man. Uh, so, yeah, can you give me this? Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll take it from here. So, yeah, I got this new lens. So, why don't we open it and try it out since it's got like f2.8 and all you photography guys, it's great for low light situations. Like Japanese? Yeah, it is Japanese. What the heck is this? I thought that was supposed to be in English. Warranty. Okay, manuals. And again, okay, at least this is not in Japanese. Okay, oh, it's a warranty sticker. And anyways, oh, nice, you know, foam, nice foam over here. It's nice and big. It's actually pretty hefty. Okay, I'm gonna swap it on and let's just check it out. See, now there's more like a depth of field and like my view, you might have seen that the background's more blurred. And here's another thing, this lens is super heavy, like I'm not talking about a little bit heavy, I'm talking about heaviness that makes it fall. You can see it just fell, like the tripod isn't even straight up supporting the weight, like if I let it go it just dips, you see. So. I need to figure out something really fast before this, you know, gets out of hand. So, I guess I'll open the tripod next. This was like a really great piece of gear that I bought, and I'm definitely not gonna regret it since background blurs I can do with it, like especially with this content aperture of 2.8. It's gonna be great for product reviews and doing cubing in general. However, I'm probably not gonna use it for shooting since this is really heavy. This is like, I believe it's like 400 grams. You know, my camera is 800 grams. This is 400 grams. And it's also really, you know, noisy. It makes a lot of sound when it like spins and tries to adjust to focus. Got my tripod over here. So it's called the Lamku, Lamku tripod. What do you think is that? If you said C, then it's correct. This company is literally begging people to make videos about their tripod. Just look at that. It's like literally memeable. You spend like $28 making a $5 profit. Anyways, let's actually uh, try out the tripod. Anyways, if you were curious, this is how it looks like. You got the tripod itself. It's actually pretty sturdy and it should be fine. So you got the logo on there, and then you also got like a, you know, mount for if you're gonna use your phone. So pretty standard, and also you got the ball head. Okay, and then you also got this for the GoPro. So okay, now I'm using the lap, what, whatever this is called, okay? And you can see it's way more sturdy, so I can shake it a little bit, and it doesn't even like move at all, so that's really great. So it probably su will support like all my s stuff that I just bought. And let's go back to filming the part, shall we? So now let's uh, take out our next item. So it's going to be, you guessed it, it's going to be a microphone. And you might have noticed that my audio isn't really great since, you know, like the default uh, audio on like the Canon Atzel 2 isn't really great. So adding this will definitely make the audio sound better. And also it's just easier for me to use like a microphone that's uh, cinched correctly than rather using like a... Um 
Okay, another microphone. It just makes my life way easier. Okay, so I just finished assembling the Comica uh, CMV <laughs> CVM uh, V30 microphone. And I just realized there's a problem, you know? I don't have any AAA batteries and this one needs it, okay? And these are the only two I could find. And one of them is a dead battery. Just stop, okay? That's enough crap memes, stop bugging me. I'm just gonna use like the other microphone, I guess, for now. And I'll try to figure out, I'll try to like buy some batteries. Next up, what do we have? Okay, so we got something from newer. I feel like these are batteries. Yeah, these are spare batteries for my new Canon SL2 I bought. Yeah, if you haven't checked it out, make sure you check out that video. It's a great video. I actually spend a lot of time making that. And yeah, so just extra batteries. Just more batteries. The reason why I got this kit was because like my other charger, it only connects to the walls. So, you know, I cannot really put it into a power bank. And in addition, the camera doesn't charge via uh, USB. So no luck doing that. Sometimes like <clears throat> it can just cut off when you're like uh, downloading your footage which is really annoying. So this will definitely make sure that doesn't happen. As you can see over here, the battery is charging and it should be finished in like a while. So it's probably one or two hours. Currently I'm using a 32 gigabyte SD card and it isn't really big. In fact, I already like ran out of like storage space once and had to like upload all of it onto my computer. I just got like Samsung's 128 gigabyte SD card and you can see over here, it has like way better performance than my class 10, 10 megabyte per second SD card. So, so it's 100 read and 90 write. So that should be way better than my old one. So let's uh, take it apart, tear it apart, shall we? Just tear it apart like a monster. Arr, arr. Okay, <laughs> let me just put the micro SD card into the SD card like this and yeah there we go we got an SD card and I'm gonna swap it right now okay so that means I can pretty much say bye to the 32 gigabyte SD card over here and put it in here you know actually don't throw your SD card like that okay Okay, last but not least, uh, sometimes when you're filming outside with your camera, uh, you might get like a lot of sunlight and that's not really great since that means you need to close down your aperture and means you cannot get that blurry background effect and that's going to be not really great for like cinematography, cinematography, my bad, cinematography, cinematography. What did they call it? Cinematography? It's called cinematography. There's a slight problem, however. Since my Sigma lens over there, it's 77 millimeters. And this kit lens over here is 58. And I only like uh, bought it for my kit lens. So it's gonna be kind of a problem and a pain. Anyway, so let's get it out. So you guys can see the lens over there. Actually, it's pretty well protected. And yeah, you open it like that. Ooh, that's a really fancy case. The only thing that I'm kind of like not happy about is there's like a bunch of hair. If you look really close at it and you can see, you can see it does work, you can see. So it's a variable ND filter. So let's put this on and then let's go outside for some shots. And currently I'm doing some vlogging right now outside and you can see the sky is really bright and that's not a good thing so what I can do is I can just NV filter and make it like less bright and you can see now it's way more natural at least for the sky however there's the downside you can see now the sky is really clear but my face is really dark so let's adjust it back to here there we go that's way better and another really interesting thing is it's kind of like a mirror so I'm just seeing myself so it's almost like I'm talking to myself which I guess it's better than looking to a camera. So now I got a bunch of new gear for my YouTube videos that's going to definitely make my YouTube videos more better and I'm really excited to make new YouTube videos and if you really like this video don't forget to hit the like button and even subscribe or even share online and anyways bye Cubers and Merry Christmas.